Often when you think of medium format cameras, you picture big and bulky models like the Mamiya RB or the Pentax 6.7. But long before those existed, the camera world was full of compact 6x6 folder cameras. And one of the most iconic ones was the Zeiss Super Iconta 534-16. So I'd always heard of the Zeiss Super Iconta lineup of cameras, but I never really looked into them that much. And a little while ago, I was looking for more of a compact uh, folder style medium format camera for travel. And I ended up picking up a Fuji GS645, which ended up breaking shortly after I got it. I got about two rolls of film through it. So I was on the hunt again, and that took me back to the 50s and 60s where uh, these style of cameras were plenty. There were tons of different models and options to pick from. And I ended up with the 534-16, which is regarded as one of the most iconic cameras of that time uh, sitting up there with cameras like the Agfa Super Isolette uh, when it comes to performance and quality. So out today with the uh, 534-16 Zeiss and yeah up until this point I've only shot one roll of film with this camera uh, and it was on an overcast day so I wasn't really too happy with the results but uh, yeah, I figured today would be a good chance to get out, uh, doing about a 10K walk. Gonna run a couple rolls of film through this camera and just really get a feel for how it performs, what it's like to work with and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, we'll see what we find. So just came to this kind of cool industrial area, a uh, whole bunch of auto shops down there. So fingers crossed, gonna find something here to photograph. The Super Iconta 534-16 was the last model that Zeiss made after a long run of producing these cameras starting in 1929. The 534-16 was built from 1955 to 1960. It was the most fully featured camera in the Super Iconta series, coming with a coupled rangefinder, automatic film advance, and double exposure prevention. So those might not seem like the most advanced features, but you gotta keep in mind, a lot of the cameras back in this time didn't actually come with coupled range finders. And then when it came to advancing the film, you actually had to look through a little red window uh, on the back of the camera to know when you got to the next frame. So uh, when you keep that in mind, uh, the features on this camera actually do uh, become quite a bit more impressive. So first impressions with this camera, just the size, obviously it's super compact for what it is, uh, especially being medium format, six by six. And then the second is just the build quality, uh, super solid, especially considering the age, uh, everything works really nice. Uh, the copy that I bought was tested uh, and the leather's in really good shape and everything's working as it should. So that's nice. I know that with older cameras, there always is kind of a concern for bellows uh, leaks, but uh, this camera seems to be working just fine, which is nice. Loving this building right here. Super interesting lines. So when it comes to using this camera, like I mentioned before, I love the size and how compact it is. And you can actually fit it in your back pocket, not just a figure of speech. So really, really neat considering it shoots a big six by six medium format negative. Um, when it comes to focusing, the rangefinder patch itself is actually quite bright, which caught me off guard because I just expected a older camera like this was gonna be pretty dim, so not bad to use at all. Uh, but that being said, the viewfinder itself for framing is actually quite annoying to me. Uh, and that is because it doesn't have any frame lines or bright lines. So you're actually just using the entire uh, viewfinder window itself to compose with. So it's hard to really get kind of critical with your framing, uh, which is a bit of a turnoff for me. And then actually, as I started to look at some of the images that I got back, I noticed that in some of them, uh, the framing was actually quite off and there were some objects that were uh, really close to the edge of the frame, which I wouldn't typically have done. So that's one of the big downsides for me with this camera. So when it comes to the image quality and the performance of this camera, 
I gotta say, I was actually pretty impressed with the results. I did read a lot of good things about the lens itself before using this camera and it didn't disappoint. It's nice and sharp, the colors are great, and it actually handled flare pretty well considering the age of its coatings. I think that this is definitely an incredibly capable camera, even considering its age. So two images left, uh, I'm gonna try and finish here just because I got like 20 minutes of light left, but uh, shot two and a half rolls of film, obviously haven't looked at the images yet uh, at this point, but uh, in terms of using the camera, uh, I'm not super sold on it. Doesn't mean I think it's a bad camera, but uh, you know, for my way of working, not a huge fan of rangefinders to begin with, and just uh, composing with this camera with kind of the lack of uh, bright lines uh, for framing just wasn't really that enjoyable. So, you know, for the right person, it might be a really good camera for me. I don't think it's one that I'm gonna really use often uh, moving forward, unfortunately. So just found this car. Last frame of the day. Funny, it's not even that far from my house either. So this will be a spot to come back to for sure. So if you're the type of person looking for a really compact medium format camera uh, with a great lens that can produce really nice results, then I, I do think that this is one of the best options out there, even though they are getting harder to find and they are getting quite expensive. But uh, just keep in mind if you are shopping for one that even though they're well built and feel really solid, uh, they are quite old and age can take a toll on them, especially on things like the bellows. Uh, so buying one that's tested is always a good idea. Even though I enjoyed my time spent with the 534-16, it's just not a good fit for the way I work and I am gonna end up selling it, I think. But I gotta say, this camera does have a quality and character to it that I'm sure will please anyone who's comfortable working with a camera of this age.